Anybody else out there use dry shampoo in their wig life on a regular basis? These are the top five ways I use dry shampoo. So the number one reason that I use dry shampoo a lot is to refresh my own natural hair and also to refresh the cap on the wig. It helps absorb oils, it helps deodorize. So all I do is, on the underside of the cap, I will apply the dry shampoo. I'll hold it about 12 inches behind the wig and I will just gently spray on some dry shampoo and then I shake it off really well. If there's any white talcum look, I can just brush that off. Um, otherwise it is not bothersome, but it deodorizes, it smells beautiful and it absorbs any oils that have come off of my scalp onto the cap and it prevents me from having to wash it due to odors. So it deodorizes, it absorbs oils. I also use that on my own natural hair underneath. So I don't wash my natural hair every time I take a shower. I wash it maybe twice a week. And if I'm on a two, the second or third day, I may use a little bit of dry shampoo all over my natural hair before I apply a wig. This will help absorb some of the oils so it doesn't rub off on the cap. So that's the number one and most useful way I use the dry shampoo. Now this is Batiste dry shampoo. It's available at Walmart or any drugstore of your choice. My favorite scent is the cherry scent. I really like that one. So the second way that I use the dry shampoo quite often is to absorb any excess silicone that is on the hair fiber when it comes uh, in the mail. So sometimes when you open up a brand new wig and it's beautiful, this happens on Raquel Welch wigs quite a bit. Also I've noticed it on the Belle Tress, but you can get a greasy look to the fiber and it looks stringy and greasy just because the silicone that they apply in the factory um, maybe got a little heavy handed on that. So I want to absorb some of that without having to wash the wig. So I will apply a coating of this dry shampoo um, and then I will just pick and fluff it and it helps absorb some of that silicone. It makes it look a little more fluffy and less greasy and shiny. So that's the second way I use my dry shampoo. The third way I use my dry shampoo is by adding a little texture and volume. There's a lot of products out there on the market to add texture and volume to your wigs. But I find that dry shampoo, before they had all those products, dry shampoo was the original product that I used. So I would just turn the wig upside down and spray some dry shampoo at the root while holding it upside down and shake out shake out any excess we don't want it to turn white um, this particular dry shampoo product has talcum in it and it will turn it white so i just kind of shake that out but when you turn it back upside down look at the nice fluffy look that you're getting i'm going to try this on love me some curl this is ellen villa's loop in light champagne or champagne rooted lace front, open cap, lots and lots of curl and volume. But this is the kind of wig style that if I just need a little bit of oomph, I'll use a little squirt of this dry shampoo at the root, shaking it upside down, applying a little bit at the root, and it gives me a little bit of sustained volume, lift, and fluff. The fourth way I use this is to refresh a tired wig. And by tired, I mean a wig that has been worn. You've probably used your hands to style it throughout the day. And it comes, you get home and it seems a little bit greasy uh, from maybe touching it. It's a little bit flat and a little bit stringy. I have found that the dry shampoo will help relieve your wig of the stringiness and give it back its fluffy, wispy look without washing and, and or styling. So what I do there is if I've got a stringy wig, I think I did this was very successful in doing this on my Noriko Jackson. That wig got stringy very quickly. And so what I would do is I would spray on, I would spray on the dry shampoo from about 12 inches distance, just a little bit of a coating. And then I would just gently, gently rub it in. And what that did was the dry shampoo would coat each of the fibers. And when I went like this between my hands, that separated that. 
and then I could just shake it out and it would be relieved of its stringiness. Now I have a video on that, I call it the refresh method, and that's exactly what I did there. So I'll go ahead and post that video if you're interested in more detail, but I really use dry shampoo to help relieve my wigs of their stringiness. Last but not least, number five way I use dry shampoo to assist me in my wig life is enhancing a monofilament lace part. Let me explain. So when you use the dry shampoo, on the cap of a wig, it starts to, the talcum in the spray starts to accumulate and it forms a little bit of white residue. Well, that can actually be your friend when you are looking to enhance a monofilament part. So here I have back my Caliente by Beltress in the color Tres Leches Blonde. And this has a lace front and left monofilament side part. I think it looks very natural as it is, but maybe I just want to enhance that parting space a little bit. Um, a lot of you can use your, your tapes, like uh, silicone tape or something on the bottom to give the illusion of scalp or just to enhance the look of that part. But I like using this because it's white. It comes across white. So I just, I'll spray it on that part. Look. So I've got a little bit of white there. I just allow it to dry a little bit because then I can just shake it off. If some gets a little bit of overspray on that lace front or somewhere that I don't want it, I can get it off of there. See how enhanced that is? Isn't that nifty? I just kind of learn some of these things as you go and I love sharing this kind of information. How do you use dry shampoo? Does dry shampoo assist you in your own wig life? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. This has been top five reasons and ways to use dry shampoo in your wig life. We'll see you soon.